This is Chuck Fry from Innovation Tools, and I'm here with Cheryl Perkins, who's the founder of uh, the consulting firm Innovation Edge and chairperson of this year's CODEV and Open Innovation Conference. Cheryl, I understand this conference has gone through kind of an evolution over uh, the last nine years. How did it start out, and why does it look like it looks today? How has it evolved? Sure. This conference started as a very small group getting together and talking about their passion, co-development, and how they could engage partners. It started with a lot of technology companies. Then after a few years, we had the engagement of consumer goods companies, then food companies, and now this year it's unbelievable. We have representatives from the biotech area, we have service organizations, and the group continues to evolve. We still obviously have those we call our groupies that have been here for all nine years, but we're adding new and new people all the time. That's great. Uh, why do you think open innovation is so hot right now? What's driving that? That's a very good question. And what we hear from our <clears throat> attendees and our speakers is that it used to create some advantage to reach outside, but now it's becoming a necessity, especially in economic downturn. If you look at what a lot of these companies are challenged with, small, medium, or large, they have to do more with less. And so they need to have competencies and capabilities to extend their brands, extend into new markets, reach new customers, and they can't do it themselves. And so they're seeing the way to effectively do that and manage the limited resources they have is to find partners to make it happen. Well, I think one of the things that we've heard over and over the last two days too is that as technology advances faster and faster you can't possibly have all the expertise you need internally. Right and it's so know who you are you know do your assessment of what you can do and do it well but also find those other people that are needed to complete the total solution so they're finding those experts in many places and often in industries they never even thought of looking before that's the neat it's thing. It's a lot of serendipity. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, what's your advice to companies who are just starting to look at this important area? Yeah, what I would say is three things if you're just getting started. We call those newbies to this whole open innovation space. The first thing is just do the diagnostic. Where are your real gaps? Based on your strategy and growth goals, where are your opportunities? Then based on that, get in and start to map where synergistic partners could come from. You know, who could fill those gaps for you? Who has capabilities or competencies beyond the walls that you have? And lastly, pulse it, sequence. Pick a few things to do well. Don't try to do 10 different things in open innovation in, the, in one year. Start small and then gain from that success momentum and then move into new spaces. Uh, final question, have you picked dates for next year's conference? It's always in Scottsdale this time of year. It's usually the third or fourth week. So it'll be around the same time. We t try to get it around the 25th of the month, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but the dates have not been chosen yet. Okay, very good. It's been an excellent conference, by the way. Thank you, Chuck. Yep. That's it. All right, buddy. Okay, so we're going to talk first, and then we're going to visit. Yep. That'll be awesome.